Atlanta United Fan TV here with Tanner. It's a controversial game. Uh, lots of uh, calls that probably did not go our way. Um, you know, ultimately not the result that we wanted. What you think of the game? That's rough, man. Um, we kind of mentioned it on the pod, you know, MLS, you never really know when you're going to hit a bump in the road. I talked about how I wanted to see how they bounce back from adversity. Well, this will be a pretty good test of that. Um, it's frustrating, man. I, I really felt confident going into this game. I thought the team were in complete control before the red. The red was definitely red. I mean, I get what Guzan's doing. Um, it's unlucky. I saw it, dude. Anyway, um, it's frustrating. I mean, I felt that if Guzan would have, you know, maybe played a bit more conservative, even if we give up a goal with 11 men at home, I'm not concerned, even against the best teams, you know, in the league in, in Kansas City. I'm confident. Like, even one goal down, I feel confident. Because um, we come back from that. It's yeah, not a absolutely. problem. Absolutely. I mean, I, I'm even with 10 men going into the second half, I, I felt – I felt pretty good about it, to be honest. I mean, I think United as a team are pretty good. Um, there weren't very many clear-cut chances. I mean, Joseph scored in the first half. You know, I didn't really see it very well. I'm assuming it's offside from the supporter section. I, I thought he was offside at first time of asking. Um, but there were no really, you know, clear-cut chances. No one really did anything to, to give us that opportunity to score. Um, I thought the keeper probably played well in the sense that against Kevin Kratz, you know, he hit two very well-struck free kicks just too, too close to the keeper, and I think the keeper was cheating it anyway because he expected him to be able to get up and over the wall. It's frustrating, you know. Um, still two points clear at the top of the East, so that's a positive, although we're, we're, we're equal on games now. It's frustrating to lose that game in hand. Um, you know, Kansas City will be very confident about that win, but, I mean, I, I still think United are better than Kansas City. I think it's just one of those losses that, you get annoyed about because it's it's one of those you don't expect, but you know it happens in not only MLS but any league in the world. You know you have those losses or those results that just don't make sense, and I think this is one of those. You know, um, you know, eight unbeaten was good. It's frustrating to lose at home, but you know, big game the Sunday, and then even with Christian sending goal, you know, if they play well, I feel confident because I don't think Orlando have played anyone overly good. You know, I think Atlanta is still very very confident. I think they'll probably go with the three to back again. Um, we'll see what happens. But, you know, it, it's how they bounce back and how they take this result and how they move on from it. I mean, Gazan will be frustrated with himself, but it's football. It happens sometimes. Right. Uh, now, was like the formation uh, defensively anything of concern that maybe brought on the chance for Kansas City that uh, Guzan, you know, ultimately got the red? Or do you think it was just an anomaly? I mean, I tweeted before the game, you know, we talked about it, how I thought it was very aggressive to go with the 4-2-3-1, um, especially with Zizzo at right back. I get it. He's at home. He, he wanted to see what his team could do. And, and I mean, he, he was right up until the red card, in my opinion. I mean, I thought Atlanta were, were the better team. They controlled the ball. They were creating half chances here and there. You don't expect that red card. So, so up to that point, obviously, Tata was, was vindicated on the fact that he thought his tactics were right. It just happens that one ball goes through and your keeper gets sent off. And that, that's that's both unlucky and frustrating, but, you know, it, it, it happens. Um, I, I don't think Tata necessarily got his tactics wrong. I, I mean, I, 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 when I saw it, I agreed with it, you know. I thought, okay, he's going he's going to go after it. I think he'll go to three at the back against Orlando, probably play a bit more conservatively than we usually would just because you're going to have a fourth-string keeper in there, a guy that's, you know, playing on the USL level. Um, you know, we got to hope that he is the best. We got to wish for him the best. We don't want to wish anything against him. Um, it's just uh, it's not a great situation. Um, I'd obviously feel a lot more confident if Khan was in there, but you know, we have to get behind him. We have to hope that he does well. And he, there's not much he could do in either of the goals tonight, in my opinion. I, I don't think anything was really anything that was his fault. So, you know, it's it's it's, it's annoying. They got to take it. I want to see them respond. If they can go and, and get a result in, in Orlando, that'd be awesome. Um, you know, sometimes they're going to be without a player that's key. So they're facing some adversity and see how they grow from it. Let's see if they can respond to it and hopefully build from it. Because if they can, then, that, then they know when they get to the postseason or the end of the season that they know what to do. They'll be confident in themselves. And it's frustrating again to see this result, but it is what it is. Uh, now, so, yeah, you know, you spoke about Orlando a bunch of times. Uh, 
you know, what do you see happening in Orlando? Like, uh, are we going to have to, you know, just play a little bit more conservatively? Or I, I think he'll go better to the 3-5-2. Um, I felt bad for Tito. I thought he was playing well before he got subbed. Yeah. But, that, you know, it's it's a pick of the litter who you want to take. And obviously, when you think about it, Tito's the, the obvious choice, which is... least match fit yeah, and I mean, it's, other it's stuff. Not, it's not, well, I mean... Even in terms of ability, you expect more from Barco, you expect more from Almiron, you expect more from Martinez. And honestly, I kind of agreed with the Martinez sub. You kind of want him fresh for Sunday, and it wasn't looking great. Romario played well when he came in, but Tito makes the most sense, you know. And, you know, I think we'll go back to the 3-5-2. I don't know how I'll line up in that situation. Um, I think McCann will be back in the lineup if he's fit. Um, Just for more uh, kind of you know, height in the box just in case. Uh, well, that, but I mean, I think you have to be conservative. You're not, you know, it's not like you're playing with your second or even your third. You're playing with your fourth string keeper, which, you know, again, we want to be confident in him. Mean, we want him to succeed, but it's, you have to be realistic about it. It's a tough situation. You're going against a team that's won six in the bounce. They're playing at home against a, a team that, you know, everyone's lauding. So they, they want to beat Atlanta. They, they, they have a point to prove to try to beat Atlanta. That's really frustrating, and it's really tough, and it's, it's a big situation that if the team can go and get a result in, that's that's amazing. That shows you what kind of team they are. Right. And, I mean, I think they can score goals. I think if Orlando play attacking, I think Atlanta can, can get at them, especially with 11 men. But, you know, it, it's not an ideal situation. But we'll see. We'll go into it. Tata smart. Tata will, will try to get his tactics as right as he can. I think he has to play more conservative, but – We'll see what happens. I don't think Orlando have played a particularly great schedule. Um, and I think Atlanta can get at them, especially, you know, again, with, with a full side. So we'll see what happens, and hopefully they can get, you know, a, a result of whether it's a point or, or two points. I mean, I mean, three points, sorry. You know, that's what we want. So we'll see. Still in first place as of now. So even if they draw, we can at least go level on goal difference, and we'll still be first. So we're in a good situation. It's early season. Results happen. It's the second loss of the season. First time in nine games we've lost a game. Yeah, nearly two months, essentially. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's annoying, but we have to move on. They play 34 games. We'll see what happens coming into the season. But even now, every time this team steps on the field in the bins, I expect them to win 3-1. I think they can win 3-1. I think they can put three goals past any team they play. So we'll see what they are coming into the season. But as of now, this result aside, I think it's a fluke. We play Kansas City again with 11 men. I think we can beat them. So we'll see what happens. Get <laughs>